uh, Shalom. So I'd like to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Raka, Kwadash, you know, double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS that rule well. And Shalom to the Akiyam who pushing his word in sincerity and in truth to the four ends of the earth, four corners of the earth, when I say Shalom. Um, that's one of go to our little precepts here, um, discussing the, the kingdom of the heavenly father, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, which is at hand, because that and all is prophecy to become, you know, that, that will soon become a reality, you know. And 2018 being the year of prophecy, we need not to forget what we actually working for. We actually working for, for the kingdom of the heavenly father, which is our reward. You know, as the scripture said, is 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 the father's good will, good will to give us the, the good pleasure. So like if to give us his kingdom, his pleasure is good, his will is good to give us the kingdom. You know, and too much to believe, and we, we we shall inherit the kingdom. Um. Because I was watching a brother video from Seers of the Truth, uh, GMS Seers of the Truth, and he was going into to how marvelous the kingdom shall be and how we how we will be at rest at last. You know, because right here we, we not at rest because here polluted, you know. As the scripture say is it's it's, it's, pollute, it's polluted everywhere, you know, for so destruction. And you know, um we really can glory in this kingdom and before I get that precept a precept really come to me just now the um this is um second Timothy three no second yeah second Peter so lucky second Peter three a verse six Second Peter three verse six. He said, "Whereby the world that that then was being overflowed with water perished, and that that was the world with with Noah, you know, because Noah was actually the elect of that world to be saved. And we all know the world perished to water, you know. I said, but the heavens and the earth which are now, which is in this present time, he said, by the same word are kept in store." Reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. So the earth right now is reserved unto fire. Because that that is the way of the most I come to destroy the earth. They come to purify the land. Because fire actually purifies. And we being in this truth, we only hope. We could only hope that we are part of that elect to be saved to, to, you know, to escape from that judgment. Um, Second Peter three verse seven. He said, "But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men, the destruction of ungodly men." You know, so that why we really can't glorify in this kingdom. This kingdom is not our kingdom. You know, and that what this this video is about. I just to remind. The mind the Akiam out there, what we actually working for, we actually working for a kingdom which is not of this world. So our faith level have to be high because we believe. We believe we actually seeing all the wickedness and all the destruction were actually coming and the most are actually multiplying wickedness right now. This is high time to be caught asleep because here we have World War III ready about to kick off, martial law about to kick off. You know, every single, like nearly every day, you actually see any news, new diseases actually coming out to why to destroy the people and the plagues are the most I have about Shami Oshai. You know, so that's why our kingdom is not of this world. And we really have to believe that by faith, you know. So that's why we can't glorify in this kingdom. Because this kingdom is reserved unto the fire, you know. But when the Messiah, how about some Messiah, come to actually bring his kingdom, it will be a, a, a everlasting kingdom, dominion over the whole earth. 
and the hope for the like we which are we hoping as you know all the brothers who pushing this word is it and in truth we could only hope that we are part of that or not to be a part of that to do his will you know that the only way we could escape by doing his will he said this isaiah 64 verse 4 he said for since the beginning of the world men have not heard nor perceived by the air neither have the eye seen O power besides thee O only the most I knows what he had prepared for him that wait upon for him and what we do we actually waiting upon the Lord we actually waiting upon the Lord to actually take all this kingdom because this kingdom is not right this this kingdom is it's full of pollu- uh, pervertness it's polluted each and every single day we die we die daily as the scriptures say you know until the Mosai actually come with his kingdom we shall, we shall actually live we shall actually live like how the Mosai intended us to live and that's what we're looking for we're looking for new heavens and new earth so you know you can just imagine when you, when you read Revelation 21 and we could into that just now is that they actually give any idea of what or what our our mind can be comforted by actually walking and seeing streets of gold and stuff like that and by precious stones breathing in clean air everything what we, we everything what we, we we are to enjoy will be in the kingdom you know Yeah, um, this is Second Peter three, verse thirteen. He said, "Nevertheless, we, according to His purpose, which are the hopefully left, which are the men who actually push in His word in sincerity and in truth, you know, on the highways and byways, doing the ministry of the Messiah, how about some of shy? Because look for new heavens and a new earth where wherein dwelleth righteousness, you know, and this kingdom don't have." no righteousness like actually dwelling here because the, 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 the righteousness that dwelling here is is a little that the elected elect the, like, the hopefully elect like, pushing his wooden sincerity in the truth in the corners that, like on the highways and byways that is that is only the, the, the righteousness that are considered here right now in this kingdom that is the only righteousness considered in this kingdom uh, and that is why Yahweh Bashem also have to come back and destroy this wicked kingdom you know so therefore beloved seeing that you look for such things that are we looking for right now and one of the ways we're looking for is actually hastening the day of the how about some actually doing the will of the heavenly father actually doing the work i know and as i just always say that the, the most important part of the work is actually finishing the work so who endure it to the end the same shall be saved and also so it's a work of endurance it's hardship you know the most i not going to go and give you the kingdom just so you have to go through tribulations you know but when they picked the the righteousness that be in the kingdom when they picked the <clears throat> there'll be no more sorrows there'll be no more death there'll be no more destruction there'll be no more wars in this kingdom it's really worth fighting for it really worked doing the work for it really worth it the scripture say eyes have not seen or ears have not perceived what the most high have in store for us the, the elect the, the elect men of the israel you know and the totals of you israelites you will be in the kingdom but you'll be you, you have to be you have to perish on this side first you know i'm made righteous to the spirit and power of your Hawa Basham Yon Shai. You know, um, second, second Peter 3, verse 14, he said, Where, Wherefore, beloved, saying that he look for such things, be diligent that he may be found of him in peace. And what we're doing right now, be given diligence. You know, we're not bullshitting, we're not skylacking, it's not a part, it, it, it have no time to go parties, and we're not in that time frame right now, our mindset is actually hoping that this shall be our last Passover on this side of the earth you know we want the most side to come back and take out take, take us from heaven you know a Passover coming up we hopefully that this this shall be our last Passover here on the side 
if if the most I spare if the most I spare life and time you know he said wherefore being wherefore beloved seeing that he look for such things be diligent that he be found of him in peace without spot and blameless and how to put it every man the most I come to render to every man according to his deed so if it was actually given diligence sincerely and it made a garment white you'll be fond of him in peace you know that they could have that confidence to say that they did all to stand according to Ephesians Ephesians 5 you know doing all to stand And that is my being, being, being blameless and spotless. And also, actually, so that's why I encourage the brothers to continue to push. Because farming of the wood, well, it's nearly here, the farming of the wood. Because just now they're going to start a block of the internet. You know, take, take control of the internet. And farming of the wood is about to approach fast, you know, because the most are actually speeding up this thing. So that the elect shall be saved. And I just want to leave with one more script here. Yeah? One more script there. Yeah? Like, you know, that's the that video just to encourage brothers, you know, going to, to, to keep the mind to what they're working for. Always always remember what they're working for. The kingdom of the most high. You know, that's, you could just pick there, you could just see it. The prophets also known as seers. So you could just actually see. You could just have an idea to the scriptures. How marvelous the Mosai Kingdom is going to be. How marvelous it is. You know, um, this is Daniel 2. And Daniel 2, I think it's verse 44. The Daniel 2, verse 44. See, and, and in the days of these kings, shall the power the heavenly father of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed and that and that what we're hoping for right now you know we we hate to, we to see this and the kingdom shall not be left to other people but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever and i actually the most i actually coming back to destroy this kingdom this wicked kingdom you know and this is Daniel 7 now. Daniel 7 verse 27. He say, And the kingdom of and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high. Who the saints of the most high? The Israelites. Verse 20 of Psalms, I think it's 148, the, uh, the 148 chapter. The saints are the Israelites. You know, starting with the hope for the elect. The hundred and forty four thousand and he wanted whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominions shall serve and obey him all dominions shall serve and obey him because when you read psalms chapter 2 let me get that quick the most i will have dominion over all Salaki. Uh, this is Psalm chapter 2, verse 8. And the whole chapter, you could read the whole chapter. The whole chapter is a very beautiful chapter. You see, it, um, Psalm chapter 2, verse 8. You see, ask of, ask of me, and I shall give thee the hidden for thy inheritance, and the utmost parts of the earth for thy possession. So the Mosai is going to have slaves. The Mosai is going to have rulership over the utmost part of the earth. Everything, everything shall be bound down to him. Um, and just to, just to back up that this is um, Philippians 2 Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 he said wherefore power the heavenly father also had ex highly exalted him and given and given him a name which is above every name that at the name of Yahweh 
every name, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue shall confess that Yahushem HaMashiach is Lord to the glory of power the Father so Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai already have dominion he have all dominion you know the Kumosai actually highly exalted him you know and it's right now it's just for his kingdom to be here on the planet earth and that will be waiting on we actually waiting to dwell in the in, in, in a kingdom of righteousness of peace of order you know i just want to close it off there because i have plenty more scriptures i could go into but you know the brothers get the point it's just that continue to actually think about the kingdom of the heavenly father about some you know continue to think about how how great we shall be living how great it shall be all the promises the most i have promised unto us and I say you know shalom to the, the apostles and elders of gms who ruling well and for the brothers and the on the highways and bibles pushing this word in sincerity and the truth i say shalom